Hi Aries, this is your reading with me for the 16th to the 30th of September and we're going to have a look, see what's coming through, <clears throat> as my throat is just like not having it today. Um, Alright, so let's begin, right? So this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I have your cards right here and let's have a look and see exactly what is coming through. So, cards are ready. If you would like to win a free reading with me, of course, check out the description box below. Private paid reading information is below as well as I offer personal readings done on the same day. And also there's intention manifesting items, which thousands of people have seen results with, um, which are handmade by me and they're really special. The review section is at the bottom of my website. Everything's linked down below. So there's jewelry pieces, but also items you can keep around you. There's sage, crystals, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, intention pouches with different spices and herbs. Again, these are for like different areas of your life. So yeah, do check that out if you're interested. And let's see, Aries, 16th to the 30th, I, I already saw this card, it's the Nine of Cups, so yeah, I briefly saw that card. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got the Nine of Cups, I am an upright reader, I thought I'd just mention that, and I don't know what's happening with my throat, I mean, maybe there's something here where some of you might be having throat issues or some challenges with your throat. I mean, there are so many things, right? Like there could be sore throat, there could be a cold. Some of you may have like wisdom teeth issues, like tonsils, uh, maybe even thyroid issues, like who knows, but <clears throat> when this happens, so many of you tell me how it's resonating to your situation. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if some of you are just dealing with some throat situations. Also throat chakra as well, which I think is quite significant. Like some of you, may want to say something, but you may not know how to say it during this period of time as well. So we also have the world card and we also have judgment. Yeah, so judgment really is about like speaking your truth, but some of you might be like, I don't know if I can right now. I really want to speak my truth. I want to ask for what I deserve, but I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Now, the interesting thing here is that many of you are going to feel very, very um, strong and in your own power, but you're going to also kind of feel a little bit vulnerable, where, like I mentioned before, you may think to yourself, like, I don't know if it's the right thing to communicate and ask for what I deserve. And the reason I say that is because you also don't want to upset anyone at the same time, and you also don't want to lose your chances. That's another big thing I see. Let's see what else is happening, lovers. See, the thing here is that you're rising. It, it's really obvious. You're really rising. You're becoming stronger. You're becoming so much more powerful in your own energy, which is extremely, extremely significant from what we see. So your rise is interesting because I feel like people feel bad about how they've treated you in the past. And I think that's really one of the most significant things. <clears throat> wow. Wow. I, you know, I've done thousands of readings and I don't think I've ever had a problem where my throat has just got so like, um, feeling like this. So honestly, it's one of those things, you know, some of you might even be doing, um, like an interview or you might even be talking to someone and your throat just goes crazy. And like, every time you like know what you want to say, it's like your throat is stopping you. Do, do you know what I mean? Like some of you may literally find that in, um, the second half of September where you know, you've got everything planned, you're going to do, you know, some of you might even be doing a speech, or you might have like a whole thing prepared where you want to tell someone something and your throat is just like not having it. And every time, every three seconds, you have to like apologize to be like, I'm so sorry, you know, like just to stop. Oh, yeah. Okay, so nine to the 10 of cups. Your rise is somebody else's fall. Keep that in mind, okay? If you are getting your your vision across to somebody, you may find that they become jealous of what you want to achieve. You may find that if you are really confident, you know, someone else may feel like, oh, that person's so confident. So just keep in mind that you are rising. Do not hold yourself back, okay? And that's why I'm saying is that your throat might hold you back, your throat chakra, um, and things like that, but don't hold yourself back. Continue, right? 
that's the thing. Um, I could stop this video and, and wait for my throat to get better and redo the video, but I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to push on and give you these messages because I feel like they're very important. Same thing in the second half of September is if you feel like you need to say some kind of truth, you need to get your point across, get it across regardless of how much you struggle through doing so because it's really important to protect your peace of mind and how you feel, right? If someone has been treating you really not very well, they've been jealous of you, they've been super hot and cold towards you, it's okay to speak your truth no matter how much your voice shakes at times because you are doing this to protect yourself and you know what? Your rise is there for, which means that you know what? If they go a little bit colder towards you or if they kind of disappear from the scene after you do so, it's really good for you to recognize that you are being protected as well and that sometimes it, when things like that happens, it means that you're being protected because there's something better out there for you as well. And I think that's really important to understand is that you shouldn't be afraid of being yourself because that is the greatest gift that you have. During this period of time, you've got Mercury retrograde, all right? So when Mercury goes into retrograde, it can bring communication issues, troubles and problems, right? You may find that you literally cannot communicate the way you want to. But do we stop just because there's a Mercury retrograde? Absolutely not. We continue. We continue to push through the challenges and obstacles that we're facing. And you should as well, regardless whether it's, there is a retrograde or not. Retrogrades come and go. They should not stop us from doing the things that we need to for ourselves or to protect ourselves further. Of course, also the sun will go into Libra. This really does mean here that there will be more balance. You will find yourself feeling better, stronger, happier, more fulfilled, continuing that energy, okay? So I think that's really, really vital. And the nine to the 10 of cups here shows you completing what you've wanted to do. So there is something here that you've been sort of having that's been weighing up very heavily on your mind and you will sort of complete that um, task. Okay, okay, <laughs> it's just me talking to myself, but I'm talking to you, you know, and uh, I know you're there. So, Page of Cups, Six of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Chariot. Some of you might take a little trip during this time, which could be very refreshing, because you've got three, actually, of the cards in tarot that resemble a travel energy. I also see as well, two of wands, you're weighing up different options and choices. Some of you are thinking, should I stay or go? Should I leave this situation? Is it good for me? You know, or is it burdening me? Is it making me feel worse in life? Is it actually giving me what I truly need in life? Or am I just settling? And I think that that's a very important thing to ask yourself, because in all honesty, I, I do think that you can do better. You can have more happiness, more joy. I also think here with the chariot as well is that you do need um, a lot more balance in your life. And to be honest, you know, Libra season will point that out to you, whether you like it or not, you'll start to see how certain situations may not really be serving you. And that's okay, because you know what, that's allowing you to grow. And perhaps also in many ways, go towards the things that you're destined to go towards. So the four of swords is about resting, retreating, taking care of you. The most important thing that you should do is take care of you and not always, okay, not always, bend over backwards for other people who wouldn't bend over backwards for you. And the reason I say that is it's it's not because I'm trying to say like, oh guys, don't do anything else for anyone else. It's that the more you always do for someone else and they don't do it for you, the more you will just always overgive, overgive, overgive. And guess who that's going to hurt at the end of the day? It's going to hurt you. So that's that's why I say, you know, like make sure you do things for yourself and take care of yourself and really put yourself first. It's, it genuinely is like the best thing you can do for you. So this is uh, the Page of Cups as well, which is very, very important. So I just feel here, honestly, that your rise is there for. Karma strikes in an interesting way. Your voice may shake when saying certain things, but you know what? Keep calm and carry on. Because essentially, I just feel that the most significant thing here is that the universe is also trying to protect you, you know? So, yeah. If someone has treated you badly, don't be afraid to tell them because, you know, otherwise they'll always think that they can just always do that and you'll be fine with it, right? Because when you um, allow a pattern to be formed, right? where you may not always speak your truth, the other person will just automatically assume it's fine for them to do what they're doing.
right? I think that's very important. So this is your reading Aries. Of course, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on a private paid readings, a free reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website. And yeah, definitely do take care as well. And I really do hope that this helped you. And yeah, I'll see you all very, very soon. If you choose to come back around, that would be amazing. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.